Just a reminder before we start, if you haven't checked it out already, head to the My Headspace website, My Resources, A-Level Biology, AQA, free study notes on the whole specification, including explainer videos and more questions like this. So just a reminder, if you've not, if you've not found it yet, lots of people have, you need to be on there too, using those notes for revision. Um, today's question, just an easy one, thinking about muscles. If you haven't seen my previous video on labeling a sarcomere, make sure you go and check that out too. This one says, what is the role of the sarcoplasmic reticulum in muscle fibers? So the sarcoplasmic reticulum is a type of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, but in muscle fibers, it stores calcium ions. Now, why do we need to store calcium ions? Well, you'll remember that they are gonna be released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum into the sarcoplasm, and that is what is gonna stimulate muscle contraction. So the sarcoplasmic reticulum stores calcium ions and releases them when an action potential arrives. So the action potential will be transmitted along the sarcolemma, the cell surface membrane of the muscle fiber. It will be carried down the transverse tubules or the T-tubules deep into the center of the muscle fibers. And when that action potential arrives at the sarcoplasmic reticulum, it will cause voltage-gated calcium ion channels to open. And that's why the stored calcium ions will then be released into the sarcoplasm. Don't forget as well that when the stimulation of the muscle fiber ends, the calcium ions are actively transported back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So that's at the end of contraction. When the stimulation has ended, there's no action potential. They'll be actively transported back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum, where obviously they're stored. And then when another action potential arrives, they'll be released again. And it's these calcium ions that contr control the contraction of muscle fibers. Make sure you're following because I'm going to post another video on all the key vocab I mean, I've just used a lot of it, right? Like sarcolemma, sarcoplasm, sarcomere. So make sure you're following it so you don't miss that one.